We have an extremely exciting pipeline in acne. Uh, the first is nitric oxide. Nitric oxide containing gel uh, just finished its phase three trial. The results were a tad disappointing as only one study showed uh, statistical significance, but it apparently was due to some kind of statistical glitch in the study and they are going back to repeat it. Um, we think that nitric oxide should work in acne patients, as it, uh, in acne, I'm sorry, as it's a good antimicrobial agent. It's also anti-inflammatory and may also decrease sebum um, and perhaps even hyperpigmentation. So it seems tailor-made for the treatment of acne. There is a subcut of the data from the phase three trials looking at the pediatric population in which it was statistically significant in both studies, showing a reduction of about 40% of inflammatory lesions in about 30% in non-inflammatory lesions. So we're looking forward to that product. Also, of course, well tolerated. The next product is a sebum inhibitor uh, called Alumicostat Glyceratil. Rolls right off the tongue each and every time. Finishing its phase three trial right now. Um, twice a day application thought to reduce the free fatty acid component of the sebum. Uh, perhaps being able to decrease uh, P. acnes production, biofilm, uh, as well as being anti-inflammatory in nature. Uh, very well tolerated, so we're looking forward to that. There's another uh, sebum inhibitor also, which is f just finishing up its phase two trial. So between the two of them, we'll hopefully have a sebum inhibitor within the next two or three years. Um, the other products in development are two uh, topical minocycline preparations. We've been using oral minocycline for many years, but of course oral minocycline has numerous potential side effects. So these two topicals are both able to kill P. acnes, uh, have been shown in the phase two trials to be effective in the treatment of acne, reducing both inflammatory and non-inflammatory lesions. Uh, the gel has been shown also to go to its target. There are several studies that demonstrated that it gets right into the sebaceous gland and also has been able to show absolutely no detectable levels in the bloodstream. So it's hoped that perhaps these topical minocyclines will be able to kill bacteria without being systemically absorbed and perhaps reduce our concerns about antibiotic resistance. And the last is an oral medication called uh, sericycline. Uh, that would be a once a day. It's a topical, it's a, a tetracycline, just like doxycycline and minocycline, but it has a narrower spectrum of activity. So hopefully we'll have more efficacy, fewer side effects, and especially maybe a reduction in the amount of uh, bacterial resistance that we can uh, be concerned about in the future, especially in the gut where it seems to have a much more narrow spectrum of activity than does minocycline and doxycycline. So I think the pipeline is extremely rich and we're looking forward to several new products within the next couple of years.